Relegation hit hard at Norwich, down in the third tier of English football for the first time in 50 years. But with 12 new signings and more than 18,000 season ticket holders, Delia Smith could afford a smile. City widely tipped for a swift return to the championship. Nobody was grinning for long. After just 10 minutes, John Otsemabor welcomed new keeper Michael Theocletus with a woefully underhit back pass. Kevin Lisby took advantage. If that was a shock for Norwich, nothing could have prepared them for what happened next. Just three minutes later, Lisby had Gary Doherty frantically chasing back. An easy step inside, and Clive Platt pounced on the rebound. Some start for Colchester, who 16 months ago were trounced 5-1 in their last trip to Carrow Road. They were taking their revenge in style. On 19 minutes, it was 3-0, Platt's second of the game, and Norwich's nosedive showed no sign of stopping. A powerful free kick from David Fox made it four, the team's only midway through the first half. All too much for some supporters, one appeared to throw his season ticket at manager Brian Gunn. Being a club legend counts for nothing when your side's being ripped to shreds. To really rub salt in the wound, Lisby, a former Ipswich player who'd also spent time at Norwich on loan, took the half-time score to 5-0. The match, of course, was dead and buried, and the stands already emptying by the time sub Cody McDonald pulled one back, 18 minutes from the end. A mere blip in Colchester's extraordinary afternoon. It took them only three minutes to restore the five-goal gap, David Perkins beating Theocletus this time. The Australian keeper will certainly never forget his debut, no matter how hard he tries. Completing one of the most surprising scorelines of any opening day, Scott Vernon added the seventh in stoppage time. Norwich hadn't conceded that many since 1992, and that was in the Premier League away at Blackburn. A stunning result for Colchester, who've already got everyone reassessing the promotion race.